Hey guys, um, this is Pradeep and this video is for uh, seleniumframework.com um, In this video we are uh, wrapping up our discussion on uh, automation frameworks and uh, um, this is uh, this uh, this video uh, talks about uh, talks about the entire um, consolidation of all the concepts we learned around data driven, keyword driven and uh, page object model frameworks and so um, we will go ahead and execute the entire workflow as we talked in the roadmap and future state where we wanted to um, capture the experience of uh, a shopping cart and how do we automate the entire workflow, right? Um, so if you had check out the uh, project, the project uh, code is in GitHub and it is already posted on the top of this page. Um, you would you would see a folder structure, um, you know, as you see on the screen on the left. Now there are lots of feature files, but um, um, the reason we have so many is because I have incrementally built uh, one after the other. For example, login.feature would contain features which would uh, uh, go to the home page, click login, and then login. Um, and then after login, we would add the product, right? So this would build on top of that. So when you open, it logs in, and then it hovers on the top menu and clicks some addresses. So all the features what you see are built incrementally on the top of the previous one. Um, in this video now I'm going to take a look at the final one which does all the way from home page login, add a uh, you know product and then check out address, shipping address, payment, order confirmation, everything together. So if you read this scenario right it, it pretty much explains everything. When I open automation framework uh, website and then um, you log in using data, hover on top of menu, verify the item price, verify the address and so on and so forth until you finally verify that you have confirmed the order. Okay. Let's take a look at uh, the step definitions. All right. So um, you might see a little difference um, in the step definitions here especially around the when present. Um, the re, uh, from, and the difference from the code what you see on the top of this page. Um, the reason is because um, you know I um, I baked in the weights and synchronization into this. Um, so you remember we talked about weights and synchronization and how it is important, uh, which is a best practice to follow. So the only difference you would see is um, the extra dot when underscore present after the element. Um, and so I went ahead and baked in all of for all the elements um, on the step definition. Okay, so the way you'll read that is you know it will the Selenium web driver um, would check until the element is present for a maximum timeout of 10 seconds. Okay, you can increase or decrease this based on um, you know based on your internet bandwidth and you know if, if uh, scripts start failing in because you are not able to download um, the page content, then you can increase this timeout. Anyhow, so um, the the entire code is readable even from the step definitions file, right? Um, as you can see, oh here, here what we are doing here is um, we are capturing the unit price on when adding the product, and then we are verifying that you know what we are um, checking out from the shopping cart is the same price what we have uh, looked at, right? Uh, this is just a verification built into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute the complete scenario right now. First, I'd execute this from um, Ruby Mine. Let me go ahead and execute this from RubyMine right now. So what we expect now is all the way from um, you know entering the URL, logging in, um, <clears throat> and then um, you know selecting a product, um, and so on and so forth, um, all the way from checking out uh, from the shopping cart. Okay, so let's give it some time and. Uh, uh, Hopefully, you know, it goes through quickly. All right, seems like it went through pretty quickly. Let's look at the console output here. All right, so it passed, it took 51 seconds right um, and you know uh, the results are obviously written to results.html you can open it up and uh, look in your browser right um, all of them passed now uh, let's go ahead and execute the same thing right uh, from uh, command line 
So let me go ahead and execute this from command line. All right. So bundle exec cucumber and uh, the feature I want to execute is confirm order. Right. All right. So, um, anyways, there was a bit of silence there. Um, so, hopefully, this goes through. All right. So, um, there you go. You can see all of the steps are green, and then uh, it uh, passed, right? Um, so, that is it for this video. Um, you know, um, if you have any questions on any specific uh, lines of code, uh, do write back to me. Um, I'll try my best to answer as quickly as possible. Okay, um, I've also uh, provided my email ID there, and uh, you, you're always welcome to uh, reach out to me through the contact us form as well. Okay, thanks, guys.